Okay, how can we scale Facebook ads campaign effectively? Now, when it comes to Facebook ads scaling, we all know that it's not as simple as doubling the budget and all that. You know, there are many mechanisms that we need to take into consideration. And I'm going to share with you with this video in today's video about what are the three key areas that you should look into? What are the methods that you can try to actually scale your Facebook ads campaign in an effective way? So uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jason. I've been helping brands navigating success on Facebook advertising and digital marketing since 2010. Over the years, I have learned with over 5,000 individuals from uh, over 30 countries around the world. And I've actually managed and guided more than tens of millions in Facebook ad spending in the past 10 years since 2010. So when it comes to Facebook ad scaling, okay, uh, there are mainly two methods that you need to look into. The first one is to scale vertically. Now, scaling vertically is a very simple way of scaling it, but of course, it looks simple. Uh, but we actually need to mon do a lot of close monitoring and all that. But vertically is very, very, very actually, as, as the word suggests, the name suggests, it is actually scaling on the same ad set itself. So let's say if you're spending $100 a day, you're getting about $1,000 back in revenue, which is, a doing, which is doing well. So what we do is we will actually scale 20% at the same ad set. And the moment we scale this, we will monitor for three days. Now, what do we monitor? On top of all the other metrics, the basic ones would be your CPM, which is the cost that you're paying for Facebook ads. Then we will look at the frequency and the CTR. These are the few ones. On top of that, we will also look at you know, the, the conversion from click to landing page view if you're actually driving people to your website and all that. But of course, this would work. Have to find out all together in terms of the action funnel, but that's the first way. So you scan, you scale twenty percent, and you monitor for three days. Now, the moment you monitor for three days, what we are monitoring is we want we don't want all these numbers to jump by more than ten percent. So if it's intact, then that means we have the time, we have the room to scale for another twenty percent. So let's say hundred to hundred twenty to hundred fifty and to hundred eighty. Now, the moment you hit a ceiling, you'll feel it. So what do you mean? Like for example, you actually spend hundred fifty and you scale it to 180. And the moment you go there, in a few days time, you see everything breaks. The CPM breaks, the frequency breaks, CTR breaks, and the cost per result will as well break. So when this is the time when you know that it's a ceiling, and you need to scale back to the previous level, which is 150. So that's a basic way to explain how to scale vertically. Now, once you have scaled hit to a ceiling, then the next thing we will do is we scale horizontally. Now, when we talk about scaling horizontal, is we need to identify what are the key metrics that we can break. Like one of the examples that I saw the other day when I was working with my coach is we actually, when the moment you break this, we realize there's a big gap between male and female in terms of, uh, you know, uh, taking action to the next level. So that was where we see a difference. And uh, we, this is an opportunity that we can actually break the ad set by gender. The moment we break this, each has a different room to grow by itself. So this is where we want to look at how can we actually break the ad sets and fan it out to create more ad sets. That means you can actually have, you know, 150, 150, 150 each, hopefully. So that's the math, basic way to understand scaling horizontally. But nonetheless, scaling involves a lot of monitoring. That's why you really need to scale by analyzing. So this is the third thing you have to really look into is you need to learn how to analyze and monitor your Facebook ads metrics. Because without having that, it's very difficult for you to keep a very close pulse about whether are you doing good or not. And what are the wins that you're actually having right now? And why are you having those wins? And what are the mistakes that you're actually making? That how do you avoid them? What are the opportunities that we can push? Like for example, the other day we were looking at, we have very good conversion from link click to landing page view. But the big drop happened when people view the product and very, very little people actually added to cart. So that's where we break. So how do we fix this? We see that, hey, maybe it's because of the so-called the checkout process and things like that. So we need to actually find out what's wrong. What is the miss? Uh, what is the breaking point? Then only we will be able to address it in a meaningful way. But nonetheless, if you have no clue, but you want to do this, what I would suggest here is without committing to any whatever coaching program, let's sign up for a 30 minutes one-on-one -on -one Facebook ads audit session with me. So we will actually go in and dissect your Facebook ads campaign and find out what are you doing right or wrong. And basically, what are the opportunities we, that we have in terms of scaling, you know, one of the mistakes that we are making, and how can we actually fix it. So that's how we work. So I've already put the link in the description. If this is what you want, sign up and we'll have a conversation together. So if you like this video, remember, it'll be very helpful if you click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I share Facebook ads and digital marketing related uh, videos every single day. So feel free to ask questions and join me on my Sunday AMA session. 
um, every Sunday night. So yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.